Yes, how this will work is we'll let the guys in the room ask some questions and then we'll have the guys on Zoom as well, give them a chance. Um, We've got the weird Vodacom Bulls coach, Chad Small, <laughs> all your questions. Nathan. Um, coach, please provide us with a brief review of today's performance. Say again, sorry, go on. Oh, sorry. Uh, please provide us with a brief, brief uh, review of today's performance. Uh, I think we had a good first half. Um, I think we really played well the first half. That's kind of temper that one wants to see. We did, we're good in the set piece today and then also in our malls. It's things that we're working on quite hard behind the scenes. And um, I mean, it's always one of the things that we want to see in South Africa. And rugby, that, that those are always one of our strengths. But we always wanted to play a little bit more expansive. Um, by the second half, I think at last 20 minutes, um, we could have maybe played a little bit better, be a little bit more disciplined, because that uh, took away a little bit of our momentum. Um, but yeah, overall, overall, I'm quite happy with uh, the five points and the tries and um, a lot of things still to work on, especially with the youngsters. We wanted to give a couple of youngsters in the beginning, some opportunities and see how they fare against at, at the K Cup because we were four guys first caps. So, uh, and all in all, I'm very happy. Uh, so, then sticking on the youngsters, the young Hendrik Vessels played hooker last week. This week is that you said prop. Where are you planning to, to, to utilize him moving forward? Yeah, I'm, I'm only two weeks now in, um, uh, in with the Bulls. And working with him, say two and a half weeks. So it's early to say, you know. So I think Jake sees him uh, in both positions at the moment, but he will make a decision at the end. So I also want to see maybe a little bit more of him. Um, I think he's very explosive, um, and he can do both uh, um, very well. So you know, both positions very well. Um, uh, but that will come with time. First, I want to see, you know, uh, how he developed, especially with his throw. Then the last question, you left the beloved blue, blue and white groups uh, that uh, then obviously went on to the Bulls. Uh, just explain to us quickly, briefly, um, obviously you coached with, with Jake White in the past with the Springboks, but uh, just explain to us your, the kind of relationship you have with, with Jake. Yeah, we, we come a long way and uh, I think he understands me, I understand him. He doesn't have to look over his shoulder because he knows you know, um, you can back on me. Um, I think that's what you expect from your assistants in those days, but he knows exactly where I'm coming from. But um, yeah, it's nice to be back with him and a couple of nice uh, young coaches as well, which I want to share my experiences with. And also some Western province coaches like Russell Winter that was here for a couple of years and then also Chris so. So it's really a nice bunch of coaching group uh, on both sides. So we stimulate each other quite well. And um, I think we can put something together, um, quite or do something, something special together quite nicely. Um, just an injury update. We saw Carl Brink off. Um, is there any, any details about the injury? Yeah, he sits, little, sits with a hamstring. So we'll just see how. How bad it is, it's too early to say. Kevin? Um, Kurt, you, you, I mean, I, I know you coached against problems with, with Border many years ago, um, <laughs> but you played, and, and you also played for Western Trons well, a long time ago, in the 1980s. <laughs> um, but was it a weird feeling to sort of be in opposition to province again? I mean, after so many years, I mean, you know, most of your, all your playing career really was out, and most of your coaching career. Yeah, I think when I made the decision initially, you know, it was a bit of an emotional one, you know. So, but then it's a professional game. Um, I've been in different countries coaching different against South Africa as well. So, as you go where the opportunities are, and there's nothing in Cape Town, and um, that's an opportunity that came up, and I'm glad for it. And it's a nice new challenge, you know, especially now with um, with the two. It's actually two teams, but it's just one group. Mm -hmm. And just to get everybody on the same page and see that everybody's well prepared for 
the Saturday game, Wednesday game, Saturday game. You know? um, well, it's, it's a different kind of dynamics, which is quite stimulating. Uh, you mentioned the youngsters in the team, but also you had some, some uh, real uh, veterans in the side that uh, obviously um, steer the, the team. And uh, do you think that that played a massive role in, in, at the start of the game towards uh, half time? Yeah, absolutely. You know, so I think in. In South Africa, we lose a lot of uh, senior players, and if I say senior players, is our experience and also leadership. And uh, it's nice to have the older, guy, the older guys coming back and um, and uh, share that with the with the youngsters. And um, uh, hopefully, we'll see it a little bit more in the future as well. But that that mix of experience and youth is quite nice, you know. So. I think before before that, before they came, it was really difficult with young teams all the time. And um, you know, hopefully, and I hope that you know we can get the the crowds back as well at the same time and uh, get a little bit more income, uh, gate income, and so on, so that we can start building the provinces because that's what's happening in the URC and in other countries. So we need the money. To keep our top players here and or bring them back. Um, but uh, I always like the sort of um, uh, combination of youth and experience. And um, well, hopefully we can just become better in the future. Yeah, but, um, you're, uh, I think based on what you did as a player and as a coach, I mean, you're a legend of Western Province rugby. And I'm um, I think it's a common sort of bit. I don't know, you could not feel that way, but you went deep to well and towards the end of your uh, career year. Does this victory in that context, is so that a, a taste is it better for you? Do you feel personal about it, or are you just philosophic about it? No, not really. I mean, for me, important is. Uh, uh, I mean, it's not a case of they didn't treat me well. It's purely uh, is what happened to the union at the time. And um, I was just very disappointed of how it was managed. And that's how I, one of the reasons why I left. You know, so it's, um, it's sad to see that it went down so badly. But at least it seems like, you know, there's now... Uh, a point we a point of return. So um, we'll have to see now how, how they put it together. Because that's also going to be a, the next different challenge. Kevin. Ged, you, you just reminded me just now of your extensive experience in Ireland. Um, are the Bulls going to use you to because obviously the Irish are the main opposition to South Africa in, in, in the US. Are the Bulls using you in, in sort of the capacity to help them with that, or was it just carry cap that you visited? No, it's just Karika, but obviously through my experience, one would like to see that, um, you know, whatever IP I have in terms of international experience, uh, just share it with them. And I mean, so even in Japan, was I really enjoyed the coaching there with Steve Hansen and Simon Cron. And it gave me a great opportunity also to see how they think about the game. And um, there, there, I think we can also do something but better here in South Africa. Um, but yeah, that's the sort of experience you have and you want to share it with uh, with coaches, especially especially young coaches. Um, I still I'm still you know friendly with um, with a lot of coaches down down here as well, you know, like Rito and um, and Shimmy. So whenever we get the opportunity and can catch up for a um, cup of coffee, you know, it's always nice to chat directly to them. The first half was, as you specified, do you think there's some of the players that have played themselves into contention for starting work on Saturday? And then, in second question, um, do you think there's enough time for a player who makes the team on Saturday uh, enough rest time that we've played tonight? And we played all the, they said this night, and Morne and myself all played into the second year. And then, uh, I think there's enough time to recover on Saturday. 
Yeah, fortunately, the structures are quite similar. So we they know exactly calls and stuff. So it's not a case of it's a new team that they have to get used to certain things. Um, so like calls and moves and whatever. But um, that's why I say it's so, so stimulating because you have to be tactically also good because what you show maybe now tonight is going to be my may be different from what's going to be on, on, on Saturday. Um, so that's fine. Well, that's what I actually find really sort of stimulating. But in terms of the players, that's Jake's call. Um, players will be well managed now over the next couple of days. But if they need to play, they can easily fit in. Captain, do you not psychological effect on what might happen on, uh, on, on Saturday? Is, is this something that could the help the uh, No, I don't really think so. I think um, it's a different game and it's a different approach and it's different coaches. So they will, in their way, uh, prepare the team that they think um, will be uh, good enough to beat the opposition they're going to play against. Um, but uh, it's... <laughs> It's got a nice and different dynamics. Cool. Happy, guys. All good. Right. I see Bulls correspondent Ashfaq Mohammed has got his hand up. <laughs> Ashfaq. Thanks, Mikey. Live, live from Cape Town. <laughs> um, I had, uh, we spoke after the, the, the Pumas game about uh, the tempo that you wanted to see and you felt the, the rain affected that uh, in the Pumas game. Obviously, better conditions tonight. Do you think that was the main difference? that we saw that tempo attacking ball in hand style of play? Absolutely. At first half, that's what we want to see. Um, because uh, in a certain way, uh, so the, the whole group is not just a Curry Cup group, but it's also a URC group. And so that's the, the, those are the challenges for, for whoever wants to play URC rugby, you know. So we try to get the players to not think Curry Cup level, but that they ready to start playing for URC. So that's a that's a really nice motivation for them. And um, you know what what makes it nice having the two competitions is there's a lot of opportunities for players, and um, it's really up to them. You know how far they can push themselves and how far they want to, to go with their careers. And, and just a word, Kat, on the man of the match, Pewe Matanzima, you a forwards coach for many years, and uh, he's had injury issues in the past, but a very dominant performance in scrums and in the loose. Yeah, I'm so glad for him. You know, again, uh, I saw him a couple of years ago, and I know that he has a lot of potential. Um, I think he had a couple of injuries as well. I'm speaking on the corrections, but um, uh, I think he's got a lot of a lot of potential in these ball carries are, are really one of his strengths, you know. So, but um, uh, nice to have him in the team and hopefully he's just going to become better. Cool. Are there any other questions, guys? Yes, thanks, Michael. Ken, yeah, go for it. Yeah, thanks. Uh, hi, Gert, well done. Um, okay, thanks. Yeah, it... it, uh, it Seems a bit wrong to say bigger picture when there's just been a, a Bulls Western Province Curry Cup match, but that's the way it is. Um, bigger picture, though, and just following on from Ashfaq's two questions, uh, the Bulls must be really pleased that a number of players uh, tonight really stood up and put in some really good individual performances to, as you say, show that they, they're ready to play at URC level. Yeah, I think that's exactly what you want in your squad, you know, that there's competition for places and and I think it just lifts everybody's uh, standards and um, yeah, we'll keep on doing that and um, and hopefully the team will become better eventually. Cool, Ken. Is that it? Are uh, you happy? Nice one. Thanks so much, everyone. Thanks, Kev. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Thanks.